Hey guys, what's up? This is Carr with Dove Eye Films, and uh, this is the second portion of our tutorial on how to do the effects seen in our Harry Potter video. So, when we last left off, what we were working on was the wand blast. Now, what I did was I added a optical flare right here to just add a little bit more flavor, I guess, if you will, to the wand blast. Now. You can take this even further, further to add, you know, dust elements and you know particles and a bunch of other cool stuff that'll actually make it look a lot better. But uh, what I would like to move on to is actually creating the ground hits. So what you're gonna want to do is go to your uh, footage and pick out the footage that you want to use. I'm gonna be using this one right here. And uh, what we're going to do is open up Mocha to actually track the ground of uh, where we're going to be doing the wand blast. And make sure that this is 60 frames or whatever your frame rate is in your composition right here. Like right now, I shot this in a... Uh, in 60 frames per second. So I'm going to change it to 60 frames per second right there. And I'm also going to go back and uh, make sure that this is 60 frames as well. Okay. Okay. Now. You're going to want to go up here and do the uh, X-Blind tool and just kind of go around the place that you want to do the wand blast, uh, where it's going to want to hit the ground. And, the, and because this shot is actually moving, we're actually going to go over here and do this tool as well, the uh, uh, right beside the other one, and actually select a couple places that actually uh, are going to just l let the... Uh, program figure out where actually uh, what we're trying to track is in correlation to the rest of the things in the uh, in the video. So let me just select a couple places. And then once that's done, we want to get to go to export uh, track data and uh, go to transform data and copy that. And go back over to After Effects and go to Layer, New, New Null Object, Edit, Paste. Now, to make sure that this actually works correctly, what we're going to want to do is delete the rotation. Oh, delete the rotation, delete the scale. And go to anchor point, cut the anchor point, go to position, and paste the anchor point there. And then go to anchor point and just go zero, zero. Now that we have that, we can actually go into actually building our uh, explosion, uh, if you will. So let's go to uh, our uh, charges over here and just pick one. Uh, Actually, uh, dirt charges. My bad. And you know, I actually like that one. So let's just put that on the top there. And position it correctly of where we're actually going to want to put it. And then, <coughs> uh, link the dirt charge to null 4. And if everything goes well this will actually go with our footage let's try it one more time now it it's having a little bit of trouble st sticking to the footage uh... so let's do this 
Let's actually go back into Mocha and let's redo it. But this time we're going to put actually more Belzer uh, tools uh, around specific objects to actually make it stand out a little bit more. So let's do this. Let's go around the main object that we're going to be doing right here. And I just want to scrub through a little bit and just make sure that he is not going to be getting into the shot. Okay, that that's working out really well. All right, so after we've done that, we just got in our general area right there. We're going to go back over here and just, again, go around some general objects to let the program know what we're trying to tr track and where it actually is in correlation to the video. And that should work out better for us now if we uh, go back over here. Let's try it out one more time. And do all of our stuff again, like deleting the rotation, deleting the scale, cutting the anchor point, and uh, re put positioning that on the uh, position. Now that actually works a little bit better. And I mean, sometimes you're going to have a lot of problems with tracking, and it's just about finding that sweet spot and everything like that. And uh, right now, uh, the tracking isn't perfect, but uh, I think it's good enough to actually continue with the tutorial and just explain how to actually make this explosion look real. Now, uh, you're going to spend a lot of time on tracking. I mean, a lot of time. And again, you're not always going to get the best track. And uh, sometimes you may even have to reshoot your footage. It's just, it's just you just got to keep playing with it and just got to keep working with it and not not give up on it. Okay, so to continue on, we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, and we're going to go to Hue and Saturation. And we're actually going to click Colorize, and we're going to try and make it blend into this right here. Just mess with the uh, saturation and lightness. And that is actually looking pretty good right there. Right about there. And go back and go to uh, your pen tool and just quickly rotoscope around this. And also uh, give it a little bit of a feather. And that's looking pretty nice. It's just, uh, you see it kind of impact and he starts running. And then to add a little bit more to it, uh, we can go back and we can actually go to uh, the dust elements and actually uh, let's try and do a little bit. Uh, put a little bit of dust around it because if you have an impact you're gonna have dust in a setting like this and also uh, hook that to null full null four as well and just position it correctly and also uh, go over here and go to the elliptical tool double click it and uh, feather that a little bit We have that dust kind of surround it. And then you can continue on with this as much as you want by adding more dirt charges and more debris flying up. But uh, then the main element that you all only have to do 
is uh, all you have to do is actually create uh, the impact right there. So I'll do that really quickly by going to uh, close out of all this. New, uh, new adjustment layer, and I'm just going to use uh, the optical flare as a just a example of how you can do this by going to options. And I've, I, again, I've already created a uh, custom preset for this. Let's just get a uh, just gotta pick this. Go to over original. Then position it right over here at the beginning, and then right as it starts to form, uh, that's when you need to put this hit right here. And then right as it hits, make the scale a little bit bigger, and then the brightness a little bit bigger, like that. And scrub back and make sure that it's not going to be this big when you actually when it's coming in so you have it come in and it impacts but it's still coming in a little bit too big let's just go back and fix it again you might even want to do it a little bit smaller than that And then boom, it hits. And when it hits, it needs to uh, immediately, I mean immediately, go away. So have a uh, opacity at 100, opacity at 100, right here, and right there. And then immediately, it needs to go away. And then you have that come up. So then you have, boom, it explodes, and then it the explosion comes up, and uh, the guy takes off running. And that's basically it. That's how you make the, uh, the explosion. Uh, I'm going to be doing, in, in the future, I don't know how soon, but in the future, more in-depth uh, tutorials on how to do explosions and everything like that. Uh, but for now, my name is Carr, and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, make sure to please subscribe, comment, and rate down at the bottom. Uh, and uh, I'll see y'all very soon.